What's up guys and welcome back to The Last of Us Part 2. Three years earlier. That storm sounded like something. Oh, I suck. <sighs> Just need to build up your calluses, that's all. Man. All right, come on. Is it? Yeah. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm I'm not crying, you're crying. I'm gonna start guessing. You wanna spoil your surprise now? I don't know. Is it a dinosaur? Stop trying to guess. I ain't telling you. <sighs> All right. Is it an elephant? <sighs> Who's cutting onions Is in here? Is it a convertible? <laughs> you're not gonna guess. Is it a puppy? Is it a lot of kittens? You mean a litter? What's a litter? A bunch of kittens. <laughs> Mind your step. Why, it. thank you, you gentlemen. Oops. Ah! Oh. She can't swim, can she? You should see your face right now. What do I drown? No, you're not gonna drown. You gotta work on that confidence, kiddo. <laughs> yeah, keep laughing, old man. Let's see what happens. He's teaching her how to swim. The worst. He always said he was you going to. <laughs> Remember now, don't just flail about. You Push gotta... the water with your whole arm. Blah, blah, blah. Glad to know I'm getting through. Well, that was quite the entrance, Joel. Oh my goodness, dude. So we taught her how to play guitar and taught her how to swim. You see that deer over there? You see that? Just through there, look. Just like he promised. Oh, I see it. Yeah. She's gonna push him in. Looks like. <laughs> <laughs> Got him back. How's that feel? Uh, refreshing. Yeah, it's not nice getting pushed in, is it? Well, actually, we need to swim through this part anyway. I got you back. You're angry and upset. I am very angry and upset. Now, come on. Ugh. Pretty sure he let her do that. <gasps> Cannonball! You're gonna need to dive under here. And take a deep breath. Yeah, I got this. What an incredible moment. So this is about a year after they got to Jackson. Is it my sixth grade history teacher wanting to apologize for being a massive dick? I beg your pardon? My friend and I would argue whenever he called the Fireflies terrorists. We got a lot of detention. You know, you really need to stop letting people rile you up. It's hard when they're dicks. <laughs> point still stands. She's got a point too, though. Right, got another dive over here. Where are you taking me? <laughs> Let's go for it. Hopefully there are no gators out here or anything. Is it... A uh, new pair of sneakers? How many of those do you have? Not enough. Give me a clue. Nope. Clue. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, stop it. I mean, you gotta gotta give me some here, Joel. Okay. 
Fuck it. I'm done guessing. <laughs> well, good. What is this surprise for, anyway? But, like, is it a massive comic book collection? No, wait. A new DVD collection? <sighs> yes. Listen, which one? Just, yes. How about laser discs? I heard that's a thing. I guess we just gotta keep walking. He's not gonna tell us. He's not gonna give us any hints. Gotta figure this out on our own. What in the... It is a dinosaur! Oh, shit, Joel. We're here. Oh my god, it is a dinosaur! <laughs> and it is. Joel! Surprise. Holy shit. The oh, Wyoming it's Museum. A fucking dinosaur. Got a T-Rex right out front. King of the tyrant lizards. That's a big boy. <laughs> oh, Ellie, you're awesome. That's a big boy. So he took us to the museum. You always have to remind yourself, Ellie never the really had this kind of an upbringing. History. Never got to do these things. Where did you find this place? <laughs> Maria. She, uh, she told me about it. Figured it'd be right up your alley. Figured right. Imagine this being your first time to a museum. What's this? It's a book? It's a dinosaur book. Okay. All right. Gotta go find him. This is pretty cool. I really appreciate Joel for this. Ooh, a hat. Safari hat. Oh, man. You wanna try it on? I do not. <laughs> You're lost. We're here in the gift shop. It's so creep like. Oh, look at those talons. That is a velociraptor. Actually, it's a D. Dinonychus. Dinonychus. <laughs> Pretty sure these are velociraptors. Yeah. I mean, at least that's what they called them in this movie I saw. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. This is cool. This is honestly really, really cool. Let's see what we can find back here. <clears throat> oh, hello. Sorry, the dinosaurs are busy right now. What are you doing? Oh, wait. One of the dinosaurs is here. <laughs> Joel, it's for you. Roasted. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty funny. Did you get it? It's because you're old. No, oh, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Having the dinosaur, like, fossils and stuff out here is intense because it kind of looks like this is somewhere they would be, you know what I mean? Back in the day, like out here in these jungles. They're no longer in this beautiful, pristine museum of, of you know, modern society. They're in, they're in nature. Compsognathus. Whew, that's a big name for little guys. Yeah, they swarm you. Did you see that in a movie, too? Actually, yeah. But a different one. See, there's a sequel. It wasn't as good. <laughs> I love it. Movie reviews by Joel. Got a Triceratops here. Triceratops means three-horned face. You would not want to be on the business end of that horn. No, you would not. Got some long necks here. Brachiosauruses. This is one I recognize. Stegosaurus over here. Whoa, this one's brain was the size of a walnut. No, no way. Looks like you two have something in common. <laughs> oh, <laughs> good one. I mean, he could clap back. Here's the big old Brachy. Kind of giraffe-like. She probably likes this one, right? Brachiosaurus ate 600 pounds of plants each day. Whew. Imagine the poops. Yeah, there's one scene where uh, actually one of the guys said, 
That's a big mound of shit. <laughs> <laughs> what is this movie, and when can we see it? Tell you what, when we get back to Jackson, we can die. It's not a bad idea, Joel. Not a bad idea. So we've got different heads and stuff there. We've got a damaged door over here. Looks like we can go deeper into the museum over there on the right, or we can go up to the second story. Did you go to museums a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Sarah loved them. I swear that girl dragged me to every damn museum in Texas. Give it a pat! It looks like a giraffe. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Hey! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I see the appeal. <laughs> Told you. Do we want to go back this way? I mean, I kind of... I kind of want to go explore the other thing. I'm really, honestly, I'm just really enjoying this. I mean, this is so peaceful and so beautiful. I didn't think we'd ever see Joel again. So to be hanging out with Joel at a museum, just nerding out and enjoying each other's company is pretty cool. Let's go see what this other side has to offer. Oh, uh, it looks like it might just be bathrooms. Demetrodon. The Dimetrodon was an apex predator. It's an apex predator. The most Badass predator. Huh. Pretty short for that. Wait, were you talking about me? Got a bathroom over here. I mean, it's weird because we're not actually going to need to collect anything in this because it's not like this is actually. Oh, well, I stand corrected. Trading cards, but it's not like if we pick up some cloth or alcohol or anything like that it's actually going to do anything. We've got one more here. Gallimimus? Gallimimus's name means chicken mimic. I, who names these? Scientists. Well, they're dumb. Got a bit of a fight happening here. This is cool. Oh, another hat! I'm going to go grab this hat. Nope. Gonna say we could give that one to Joel. It'd look good on him. But I guess not. Alright. Upstairs we go. This is just so sweet, dude. Just hanging out. Nothing to it. Just an enjoying, enjoying each other's company. Way through the stars. <gasps> Did you know this was here? Oh, you don't like it. Um, we can head back. <laughs> oh, shut up. We make the universe spin. Oh. Hey, Joel, can you name all the planets? <laughs> <clears throat> My very educated mother just served us nice pizzas. Uh,. Did you just have a stroke? My Mercury, very Venus, mother Mars. Oh, okay. I get it. That's pretty cool. Rest in peace to Pluto, man. Pour one out for the homies. This is cool. We can see all the shuttle systems and stuff. They got a Falcon 9 up in here. Hey, Joel. Guess what the first animal to go to space was? Monkey. I don't have to guess. That was a monkey. No, it was fruit flies. Yeah, in 1947. It was to see radiation exposure at high altitudes. And they lived through it. That gun grow, you are smart. Thanks. Did they become super flies? What? No. I stand corrected. There's the ISS. Or is this the I... Are these the forms of the ISS? Is this what it started as? This is the ISS. What is that then? That's the MIR? Huh. Could see a moon buggy here. <laughs> they would freak out at you if you did that. 
Normally. Where's the steering wheel? Rovers don't use steering wheels. They use joysticks. Hang on. Where's the real one? <laughs> well, considering they left the real ones on the moon, I would say no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Joel. Gotta, gotta love you, buddy. Could see some of the suits over here. So Ellie, she really likes space. I remember back in her, her setup in Jackson, she had space posters and stuff. So she must be pretty into it. Apollo mock space suit there. That's pretty cool. Can we inspect this at all? Yep. Whoa. It's a really hands-on experience when there's nobody there to tell you no. But now, hold on just a minute. You're going into space. You're gonna need a helmet. Oh, right. What was I thinking? Smart. <laughs> so cool. How does it smell in there? Like space. And dust. And fruit flies. After you. Watch your head. Whoa. That is so incredible. <laughs> what the heck? That is truly amazing. Okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, kiddo. What is this? This is a thing that took a mighty effort to find. Take it. This is so cool. He's letting her be a kid again. Really for the first time. Imagination.
I... The things that this game makes me feel, the emotional roller coaster that we have been on, like this is one of the most beautiful, just... fantastic, relaxing, just lovely experiences, and then you have to think about what's, what's gonna come next. Looks like we can draw in our journal here. Were you wanting to go over here? You kind of headed towards this, Joel. Here. All right. There's more museum stuff over there. Yeah, I never checked out that building. Well, let's go. And just how do you plan on getting yourself over there? Look out below! <gasps> oh, God! Never give anyone else this much grief. Get down here! No! Come on, hey, old man! Whose birthday is it? You can't keep doing that. I want a good splash. We've got more exploring to do. Geronimo! <laughs> nice. Oh, I love these two so much. Nothing makes me happier. Natural History Center. Hey, who's being there? Uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll open the door for you. Come on, we can't chicken out now. All right. Nope. There. <laughs> Please don't tell me this is where things start to go south. Okay, bad news. There's shit blocking the door. Well, see if you can find me another way in. I'll, I'll walk around the outside. Okay, be safe. You be safe. There are dinosaurs around. <laughs> I mean, she jokes. I killed for them? What? That wasn't written by any museum caretaker. Oh, dude. And it's next to the it's wolves. Hug. The WLF? What the f Dude, no. It's dark in here. The four soldiers at the gate, the last one cried. Oh, shit. The woman we tortured choked on her own blood. Nope. The kid who ran into the blast, I couldn't stop Come him. Out, fuck. Looks like we can pick some stuff up. There is no light. Let me read this note really quick. We wanted to end suffering. We wanted to restore humanity. Each time we sacrificed part of ourselves, our leaders kept saying it'll be worth it. Now we've disbanded with nothing to show for our sins. I thought coming here might reignite something, some purpose. My parents loved bringing me here. It's one of my earliest memories from before the outbreak, before all the cruelty and savagery. Those memories just made me angrier. I don't want to be in this world anymore. I can't look at the person that I've become. Shot himself. <gasps> Stupid fake animals. Oh, Jesus, what the fuck? What is that? A boar? Oh, shit. Natalie? 
I'm in here. I'm jumpy, just a little bit. Who was it? It's just some animal. Fireflies liars. Well, let's get a move on. I want to get a fire going before it gets too dark. Come on. Your game's going to give me a heart attack. I, I mean, like I said, so beautiful hanging out with Joel. You know, having this beautiful flashback, loving it, having a great time, and then everything goes to where it goes. So that was a dream. Waking up in the theater from yesterday. From our last episode. Might want to go check on Dina. Didn't exactly have the best uh, talk with her last night. Dina? Is she upstairs? Said something about the radio static. Maybe she's messing with the radio. Morning sickness. She's preggers. Hey. How hot do I look right now? Pretty hot. <laughs> How'd you fix it? It was a loose connection. Antenna. They found our mess at the school. Good. This guy, Owen. He went AWOL. Maybe Tommy got to him. Maybe. What about her? Nothing yet. Unit Romeo, you are requested at site two. Repeat, you are requested at site two. Confirm. So, the numbers are locations. My girl. The TV station we were at? That's six. There's a lot of chatter coming out of two, so I'm assuming that's their home base. That helps. Look. Last night was... Tommy? This is site 13, unit Lena nearby. How many scars you got? Over. Negative on scars. Lone male trespasser. Arm. Lone male Over. trespasser? Tommy. Tommy. Where's 14? Uh, not a hundred percent sure. Okay, then guess. <laughs> uh, if this is seven, twelve's all the way over here. I guess it's somewhere in this neighborhood. Hillcrest. Crest. Okay. She can't come. Yeah. She's in no shape to Not move. <laughs> I'll go get him. You keep tracking them, okay? Yeah, okay. Wait. Give me your hand. 
It's for good luck. I don't believe in luck. I do. <laughs> so we're going to leave our pregnant girlfriend in a creepy theater with no food, no water except the stuff falling from the sky. And we're going to have to do this all on our lonesome Hillcrest. Okay, Hillcrest. Is this the right place? Definitely the right place. Hearing gunshots sounds like it might be. It's got to be Tommy. quick about this then. Try to grab whatever we can. All the drawers in the apocalypse all have really weird like tattered paper and stuff. It's kind of odd. Just a back door, nothing back here. Don't hear anything. Propaganda. Laundromat here. Might be able to find some alcohol and cloth and stuff, but I guess nothing really. Madrona Bakery? Gotta be careful here not to run into any traps or anything. Looks like there's a way through that wall. I'm assuming that's gonna take us to our next objective. This isn't creepy at all. That door's locked. How are we gonna get in? Use, oh. I was gonna say usually there's another way around. Pick all this stuff up here. Got a note. <laughs> Happy birthday, Dad! The best chicken killer in the whole QZ. Huh. Boris Legasov. Not sure what he does or how he relates, but. Looks like he's got a workbench, he's got power, and we've got, hold on a second, there's, there's one more thing here. There's some more parts over here. All right, so we might have, do we have 100? Yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna do damage on the sniper rifle now. Really kind of investing a lot in the sniper rifle, I hope it pays off. I feel like we haven't really used it a ton yet. But I think as we get tougher enemies and stuff, and, and people with armor and, and whatever else, I think that's going to be good for us to have in the future. So we'll hang on to that for now. Alright, back out of here. So the hole in the wall just goes out here. Can we climb this? Climb this. Aha. How do I get up there? So we want to head that way. 
Hold on, Tommy. Hold on, Tommy. Let me conveniently take my time and uh, loot all this stuff first. I feel bad, but it's got to be done. Got a note here. Wolves broke into the Fedra HQ and found the enlisted rosters. I've heard they're starting to knock on doors looking for soldiers. I'm not going to be executed in my own town. If things calm, I'll try to uh, return with a new name. Couldn't find Alfie. Alfie, I put his food in your back porch in case they don't come back. Gives him lo give him lots of scratches for me. He always loved you, Sophia. Oh, I can't imagine leaving a pet. That would be so hard. On. I want to make sure we double check every building here. So this is back on Main Street. It's a rust and coffee. Joel would enjoy this place. Check for enemies. Don't see anything. Locked. Which means there's probably something pretty dang good behind it. Ugh, gross. Lovely. Rats. Looks like dinner. We got any zombos in here? Nope. Well, it looks like it's filled with a bunch of ammo and stuff that we can't use. So props to us for being so diligent so far. Is that it? Let me check back out on Main Street. I know we had the big hole in the ground. I did see there was kind of a path that went back this way. I saw there was a split in the bushes. I'm assuming this is not the way we want to go. I mean, can we hop up here? We got a brick. <laughs> Thought I heard something. That definitely made a lot of noise. Okay. Something to numb the pain for us. Boris, what do we get ourselves into? The wolves were supposed to make things better. The military hoarded all the resources, controlled what we said, told us what jobs to do, and so far the wolves are doing the same thing, and now they're talking about moving everyone to the stadium. What? I grew up in this town and survived the outbreak in this town. I'm not moving to some refugee camp where this asshole tells me I can or can't wipe my own ass. This is my home. We need a plan. We can't settle for the same thing. So it sounds like the wolves were born out of something good to kind of, you know, I, I don't know, um fight back against the, the corrupt military and stuff like that. But it also sounds like eventually, I mean, you give anybody power, they become corrupt pretty much. So eventually it turned into a bad thing that people wanted out and wanted to try to fight back and stuff. It's just sad. Got to think about all the bad things happening in this, this world. And the humans can't even get along, you know what I mean? Party. Is this the coffee shop? Yeah, I think that's the coffee shop. Keep on keeping on. <laughs> well, this doesn't look good. Hold the perimeter until we hear otherwise. Keep an eye out in case it comes this way. Dogs! I got something. Shit. Get in there. No! Okay, girl. Snip them out. So we gotta keep moving. Guys connected to the girl from the school? That'd be a hell of a coincidence if they weren't. I hate these small groups. Big groups, it's a straight fight. These loners. I hear you. Let's find him and get back home. 
You can get dogs off your scent trail with bricks and bottles. Almost just seen right there. Definitely gonna need another one of these. So do we still have a trail or does, does the dog need to pick it up before we like get a trail, you know what I mean? The trail we were just looking at? Oh, we're maxed out on shoddy ammo, that's good. Okay. She's not gonna turn around, is she? Or she might. Go, 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 go. Get in there, go, 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 go. Shoot, the window's not broken. There's somebody over there. Pick up another bottle, shoot. Somebody else almost saw me. Where are they almost see? Oh shit, the dog! Get back! She ran behind that car! No, she didn't! You're seeing things! That dog's gonna pick up the trail and come after us again. Oh my gosh, dude, there's no, how do you, where do you want me to go, first of all? Second of all, how do you want me to get out of this? Yep, dog's on the trail. Go on, you stupid on, mutt. Boy. That dog smell something? Nothing, all clear. Come on, boy. There's no other way out of this. He's down. I'm sorry, puppy. I'm trying to save ammo, but there's, I mean, what do you want me to do Stand against down. these guys? Oh yeah, come on. Come to Papa. That was so sick. Okay. Are we good? Anybody else want some? Oh, no, we're not good. I thought we were good. When she said okay, I thought she meant all clear. There's at least one more behind this thing. Imagine not having a spine like this guy. to give it a try. Are we good now? Okay. 
Ellie, you gotta chill out on the okays. The music stopped, I think we're good. You gotta chill out on the okays if it's not actually okay. You know what I mean? Like that, you're kinda giving me some, some false, some false direction here. So at least we cleared them all out. Took, I mean, a little bit of damage in the process, but honestly nothing that bad. I still don't even know where we're supposed to be. Oh. This is it? Anything by this fire truck? No. no. Wait. Didn't check this building. That's it? You wanted me to get to the giant red door at the end of the hallway? And we couldn't do that? I mean, we did, but... It was just a little... A little sketchy on the way there. So hopefully Tommy's somewhere close. Nice. I mean, I don't think there's anybody coming after us anymore, Ellie, but can never be too sure, right? Looks like we've got some stairs here. Let's continue on doing our thing. Dumpster back here. I think that garage <clears throat> we might be able to use this on that garage. Fuck. I wanted to hop the garage. Maybe not. I don't know what else we would use it on. I wanted to hop the garage, but I don't think we're going to be able to. But this is on such an incline, I have no idea how we would ever ever do it. We're going to have to find something to wedge it against. Unless we just put it up there, we hop on it quickly, it starts rolling, and we just jump, double jump, just jump, jump really quick. Something tells me we aren't welcome here. An old bicycle shop? I never knew a bicycle shop could be creepy. Should find a bunch of parts here, that's for sure. Let's see what this says. Boris, I'm so sorry what the wolves did to Sophia was horrifying. I can't help but feel somewhat responsible. I've been getting the town so riled up about standing our ground against the wolves when she started spray painting over the rules. I didn't discourage her hard enough. I kept it from you. I thought she'd stop. I know you want to retaliate against the wolves. Believe me, I feel the same way, but we can't. Not now. Got to be smart. Let things cool down. People be looking for you now. Or looking to you for how you handle this. You were a leader here after the outbreak. I need you to be a leader again. Let's not let everything we fought for be in vain from Uli. I mean... I'd like to say he's right, but look at what we're doing right now. Getting retaliation and, and payback against the wolves. So we've got 46 parts here. I'm wondering if we should do a shoddy. Maybe fire rate. I feel like that's pretty good. Haven't really used the shoddy yet. Haven't had to, but... Dude, this... The, the whole upgrade setup is so clean. That is cool. So we've got an upgraded fire rate shoddy. I'm hearing lots of noises. Where in the world do we go from here? And are there any baddies? I mean, we may as well just kind of do what we've been doing, right? 
Got a huh. barber shop here. Oh, a Actual tattoo, tattoo shop. shop. That's pretty cool. I don't know why. <laughs> Those definitely aren't barber shop. Well, they kind of look like it. Like it looks like the lights, the hair thing. Looks like it's like a a, a female barber shop, like a, a blow dry bar or something. Looks more like a tattoo shop. I'll be I'll be honest. Looking like we're pretty full on ammo. Let's see what this is about. Uli, you know our hearts will always be with Hillcrest, but after Sophia's shooting, we've decided to head to the stadium with the others. We've got our own kids to think about from the Brandemans. P.S. Saw Boris a couple of hours ago. We tried talking to him, but he seemed off. Please talk to him. I hope you guys will join us. So the Brandemans decided that it wasn't worth the risk. And they, uh, they said, F it, we're out. We've got some infected in there. Hold on a second. Hold up. Wait a minute. Here is a barbershop dry bar thing. Do we want to go do that? I don't think. I don't think we have to. Yo! Get back, you sons of bitches! What's up? She was on fire. Okay. The fuck was that? Is there anything else in here? I just had to waste two shotgun ammos, but I knew that we weren't going to be able to kill. Oh, we got a we got a safe. Okay, this was worth it. We got to find the code of the safe. Code of the safe. Code of the safe. Oh my been goodness. In here for years. I'm surprised it didn't turn into clickers, or maybe time isn't isn't what turns them. Code of the safe has got to be in here, and maybe something else bad. I mean, got one of our shotgun shells back, so we'll take that. Pills are always nice. Code to the safe, code to the safe. Order more nines, call Tom. Need more nines. They've got local restaurant menus. What's a guy got to do for the code of the safe, man? You got it written down anywhere? Do you have it written down next to the safe? I guess we aren't going to be able to do anything with that. That's unfortunate. Um, all right. Back across the street, looks like we've got a few more buildings to take a look at. We've got Gold Star Liquor and a dog bar. How do I get to those stairs? Huh. Je ne sais. So now that we know they're infected around, we probably want to be a little bit, a little bit more careful. I don't know about that one, Chief. Uh, I hear flies flying around. Huh! That's... That's stupid. This was stupid, Trevor. And you didn't need it. It was stupid because you really didn't need to take this fight. Didn't need to take this nonsense. 
I'm not even gonna loot the place, dude. I'm just going. I'm just getting out of here. I have no clue where I am. There was probably some good stuff in there, but it's not worth it. Where the hell are we now? In a daycare? That's messed up. Oh, this is a training manual. Outdoor sportsman. What does that get us? New upgrade branch precision. Aim stability increase. Faster, uh, move faster while aiming. Listen mode range. Hold breath. And a locked skill. I mean, that's pretty good. That made it worth it. I don't even know where, where are we? Ugh. Oh, that's, that's where we went in. We just came out the building next to it. There's one way in, one way out. All right. So that leaves us with the dogs. I don't think there's any way for us to get up there. Can we get through the dogs? The dog store, pet store, whatever. I honestly think this makes me the most sad. This is going to be locked, isn't it? Thinking about all the pets. All the pets that were abandoned and stuff. Is there anything of interest in there? Only way we're getting in is if we break that window, and I don't know that it's worth it. This is a bar. Don't you dare make a sound, you nasty mother sucker. Broken bottles. I think we can read this later. Would be my vote. Is anything of use? I mean, I'm really tempted to, to go see what's in that, in that dog washing room. It's gotta be pretty dang good, dude. It wouldn't be next to a bloater if it wasn't. Maybe if he's on the far end of the room. I'm gonna craft an extra molly just in case. Maybe if he's in the far end of the room. Well, we're getting alcohol in the bar. That doesn't surprise me. And we throw a brick or a bottle rather than shooting. He didn't hear that. Okay. This better be worth it. We got some nail clippers. We got a note. Turn in Boris. What the fudge? Why did he run the other way? run the other way that made no sense it's like he said hello maybe he realized he didn't know how to get through that window I almost opened the door and that would have been that would have been bad news
Oh, and there's stuff here that I wasn't even looking at. Hello. Oh, hello. Okay. Lots of medicine. I'm out of here. I'm gone. I'm done, so, dude. I'm not dealing with that anymore. Ooh. Just in case. Arrows. Okay. Well, who was that? Tommy? It's gotta be Tommy, right? Oh, shit. Hope you did that, Tommy. <laughs> Got more infected here. Lovely. <laughs> Hurry up and get down. That other one's coming this way. I also don't know about the one behind us. What an idiot infected. He didn't even see us. Come here, buddy. I'll make it all better for you. I like these arrows. We need a bow, though. We don't have a bow yet. Bow's one of my favorite... Favorite options in the last game. Staying stealthy and stuff. That is a nasty-looking hot tub. Nothing back there. This is fine. Everything's fine. It's all okay. Fall into saving sale. Back when life was simple. You didn't have to worry about killer humans or killer zombies or anything. Hard to reach cabinet with nothing in it. Ooh. That door looks like a trap. All right. Trap it is. No! Oh, Jesus! Don't worry, nobody's gonna hear that. Oh, it's got a bow. Taking a bow off a clicker, that's one way to do it. Yeah, this'll do. I love how I say, oh, this looks like a trap, and then I jump just the same. Arrow's recipe's been unlocked. We need tape and scissors. I don't know where you're getting the shaft from, but who am I to question? <laughs> okay, that wasn't scary at all. That's one way to use mannequins. Let's see. All right. Nice. Can test out our bow. So this works a little bit differently than uh, than previous games. Moving reduces the bow's power. Stand still while charging your shot. I want to see how much this drops. So at this range, I'm going to aim at the blue line. Still and we'll see. It. Whoa. It goes about to the, the middle of the chest. And we have another arrow here. I was going to say, how did it get down to the knee? But that was not it. So like here... You want to hit them straight on, but as you get further, you want to kind of 
get ready for those shots to drop. In the last game, you held L2 and it would automatically charge up and then R2 was to fire, so that's kind of interesting. You also don't have the guide this time around. We don't have the ability to, uh... Hey, hey, shoot. we got another trespasser. A girl. Did you see her? No, but the fucking guy is nearby. Oh, shit. We're looking for two. We've oh, almost caught smoke. up to Tommy. He blew up one of our trucks. How'd you let that happen? Just find them. Fuck <laughs> those fucking... I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to the dog. I apologize. I want every building in the area searched. Watch for scars. I, I apologize for that. I, I mean, I saw an opportunity. I had to take it. There's another dog over there. Who almost saw me? We need to take this dog out. Do we get our arrows back? Gonna craft the new Molly here and then we should be able to pick some stuff up. Shannon? Dogs on our trail, keep moving quietly or use a distraction. I'm assuming we would have go under here. I don't know if we're just supposed to be running or what, but I'm 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 trying to stay away from this dog. I really don't want to have to kill another dog. Ideally. It doesn't look like he's close. Just gone. Oh my god, they're everywhere, dude. Oh my god, they're everywhere. I hear a dog sniffing? Take that machete. I don't know if I want to use the the bow or the silenced. Bow or the silenced pistol. Fight like the pistol is way more useful. I gotta take this guy down.
Can we recover arrows? Yes. See another guy inside? We got company. I'll go see what's up. Who's he talking to? Got you. Ah, there's somebody inside. And there's a dog! We lost what the another fuck? soldier! Fuck, fuck. What the hell's going on? <laughs> Fucking ambush! Think it came from that way! We're gonna find you! Oh god! Laura! I think it came from over there! Oh, it's game time now! Oh, shoot! We got the dog on us! We got the dog on us! Come here, you little shit! He's down. I will shoot your dog. And never, never even feel bad about it. I mean, this is unfortunate, but it looks... It looks like we took down the whole neighborhood. I was trying to conserve ammo in my bow and everything, and in my my handgun, my revolver. I really wanted to. No, what? Shoot. I really wanted to be able to pick it all back up. Somebody else almost saw me. Now we're not really in the the best spot. Definitely uh, used a lot of handgun ammo. I'm, I'm feeling I'm feeling sad about it. I mean, I kind of feel like there was nothing we could do. They they just kept coming. Eventually, we gotta use our weapons. We had to in that in that situation. We didn't really have a choice. Music stopped, so I'm assuming that we're gonna be good to go. Let's just loot this stuff. Let's see who we could find. I, I feel bad that we. I mean. I obviously don't really love killing the dogs. Like, that's kind of unfortunate. Um, probably use... Use one of these. Craft one of these so we can pick up some more cloth. So let's go ahead and craft that. Let's craft the pistol silencer as well. It's going to cost us a cloth and a can. One shot back in the magnum so far. You got to think about how much magnum ammo we've been, we've been just saving so far. How much we've passed up back behind us. There's nothing we can do, man. Absolutely nothing we can do. Some, oh, I mean, six pills there. That's actually pretty good. I wish we would have found that med kit before we crafted one. Okay. You know what? This is because we were going to leave all of this stuff behind. I think it, I think it might have been worth it. Are there any other houses on the street that we can truly comb through? It looks like every single one of these, they're all gonna have stuff. All right, I think we're gonna be all right. I'll let you guys know if anything, if anything happens here, but I think we're kind of like in limbo until we advance. 
So we're, we're gonna be just fine. We got way... We traded some bullets for way more, way more materials, which is worth it. I think we're about done. Ooh. All right, I'll take that. We've got a machete that's better than that hatchet there. We, uh, I mean, we didn't do too bad. If we take a look at our revolver here, we are down to four bullets, which is not an ideal situation, but we did get quite a bit of ammo for our, our semi-auto here, which is always a good thing. And then we got a ton of materials too, so. I wouldn't call it the best trade-off in the world, but at least we're not leaving empty-handed. We need to use our hunting rifle more. I feel like, oh shoot, another med kit. We really wasted on that. But I feel like we... Gotta get out of here. Who is this? Got the dog off our scent. I was gonna try to pick that brick up, but it didn't let me. Can't find anything. Come on. Quiet. I don't want to deal with this more. They're also yelling that somebody else is here, so we gotta watch out for that. If we crawl, can she see us? another one in here what's up my dude or girl oh my god they changed they changed the shotgun off of the thing I no no no, no don't craft I want to I want my shotgun here holy I was not ready for that all right we've got people behind us too so we got to watch out for that is there anything of interest down here Anything we can pick up? It's a baseball bat. I don't really want to be near this window because I know we had those dogs after us. Cloth and stuff. All right. We're good. Let's, oh. Some alcohola. All right. Trespasser in here! Help! Woo! Come here! I dodged, it didn't dodge. She go. More trucks, more soldiers. Just keep running. Just keep running. Where's Tommy at? I thought Tommy was supposed to be here. 
What? Who is this? Tommy? What the hell are you doing here? Jesse? I think I'd let you do this on your own. Jesse. Where's Dina? You're a father, man. She's safe. There's a lot to catch up on. She's just sick. What kind of sick? She's fine. Christ, there's a lot of them. Oh, he's hurt. How hurt are you? I'll be okay. Your friends out there rushed me. No warning, no nothing. Tell me you didn't come alone. Give me shit about it later. You're a fucking idiot, you know that, right? Yeah. Right. See that truck? That's your plan. We need to get some distance. We're gonna steal their truck and ride out of here. Really? You ready? That's the plan. I got the one on the left. Shit again? We need more guys by the fucking walls. Preach into the choir, man. What do you mean the guy on the left? Try what are you going to do? Yeah. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Don't. Drag him back behind the wall. We're good. You have any ammo for me? No. See anything? What's going on? Emma? Quit fucking around. You better get that other one. There it is. Oh, look at that 360. Okay, that's four down. I gotta go. You want me in the passenger seat? Yep. Oh, okay. there's no way this works.
You know, I don't know that he helped. I think we were doing just fine without him. I'm glad he's here, though. Never better. Okay. I think we're in the clear. Here, come on. Uh, oh, thanks. This way. Okay. Mm. Dude. So it looks like we're going back downtown. Might be going back to meet up with Dina. Might be about time to tell Jesse he's going to be a father. Might change his tone a bit. Dina. She's going to be surprised. Hey. Oh my god. Jesse. Hey, Dina. Oh. Hey. You okay? Nothing little sleep won't take care of. We should get inside. Yeah. Easy. How'd you get past Maria? I had to sneak out. Huh. My friends' problems are my problems. Yeah. I heard you're sick. Oh, it's... It's just a stomach thing. Come on. Let's sit you down, huh? Or not tell him. Uh, you don't need to do that. Oh, shut up. So when'd you leave Jackson? Day after you. There was bad snow when I crossed into Oregon. I've been doing 18 hour stretches for the past two weeks trying to catch it. Dang, Dina hardly even said anything to Ellie. Feels bad. 